actual size of the park is 315 acres, and by comparison, that's almost exactly the same as Breckenridge. It's one park, one concept. However, physically, uh, Wurzbach Parkway now splits the park. Actually, the parkway had been started for years before the, it became a park here. But I think it was the juxtaposition of time was that just happened. I don't think there's any, uh, any, any fault to be found here, but we certainly need, we need to cure it. And the park has a master plan. It's won all sorts of awards nationally already. And it was designed by a team of architects from Harvard. And the concept was to join the, the two parts with a land bridge, and it's the master plan now, land bridge is something that looks like a natural feature when you start, but underneath it is an underpinning of steel girders. And then on top of that, you have your earth and your trees and your flowers and your grass. It's wide enough so that the animals will go back and forth across it. It will be something that there's nothing like it in the state of Texas. In fact, the closest one might be, there's one in New Jersey, there's one in Banff, Canada. And, and several in Europe. The technology is there. It would be uh, an icon for San Antonio, just along with the Alamo and some other sites that everybody wants to see. Uh, that land bridge is about a $20 million project, so it is the most expensive. We we'll probably need about $35 million to finish this park altogether to make it 100%. But the development of the park is only about 60% done. More trails, we have cleared out all of the invasive species and so you'll see the grasses and the flowers that were here at the time of the Alamo. It's a good natural history lesson. You'll actually see the way this, this place looked about 1840. We also are building a, an old Texas house and we are bringing that back. That's a $250,000, $300,000 project. So we have this historical component of this park. Now we also have an entertainment uh, portion, first class children's playground on both sides. So you have two playgrounds. The surface of those playgrounds are kind of a spongy rubber, so if the kids fall, they're unlikely to hurt themselves. And then we have dog parks on both sides. And uh, that's very, very popular. In fact, it might be the most popular. And then in between, you have a lot of hiking trails and a lot of educational things. This is a real education center, so people can learn a lot here. And then we also uh, practice good conservation methodology. Yeah, it is part of the education component, and this stuff is, goes on every single day out here. They're not all kids. We have one on all the animals. We have one on the trees and the flowers and so forth. So it's a really, a, it's a great educational effort for the people of San Antonio. So uh, lots of things here to learn, but if you just want to get out and have a good time, it's also a great place. You can come here and have a picnic. You can come here and play basketball. We have outdoor basketball courts. It's for the whole city. It's not for any particular area. Because in an urban environment, we kind of, we learn to kind of shield a lot of that out. And in doing that, we lose so much of the enjoyment of life.